everyone, I'm Holly and today I'm making strawberry champagne soap. I'm going to start by adding in the coconut milk and I want to get that blended in quite nicely with the oils. This is a test for a brand new camera that I have and so you'll have to bear with me a little bit if there's some parts we need adjusted. I just wanted to give it a try and see how it would do. So now I'm going to get it blended together. I'm going to add in the fragrance oil. It just smells so good. All right, I want to split this off into several different colors. So into this one here, I'm going to add some Trial by Fire Mica. I guess it's a pigment mica blend. It's just an amazing red if you're looking for red. That's from Nurture Soap. This is Love Song from Nurture Soap. We have some Winter White Mica here with some champagne um, color. So the Winter White's Nurture Soap and Champagne is Mad Micas. And then into the big pot, I'm going to be adding in just some gold. I'm just gonna go ahead and start over here. It's not gonna matter a whole bunch. Just going for a strawberry red there. And then this is going to add a little bit more color to the love song. I'll come back and stir every one of them a little bit better. Start by pouring in some of the gold. This is just a little bit thicker than I remember it normally getting. Then the pink.
in the champagne color. Pour in some more of the gold. Gonna finish off with the rest of the colors. I'm still gonna try to give it a bit of a swirl even though it's just super thick so it should be fine it'll give it something when it's thick like this you really can work it over pretty good and not get that much of a swirl so I don't have to worry about it getting muddy or anything Just gonna kind of plop this on. <laughs> I'll probably smooth it around. Hope it works out. Goodness, this is really quite a bit thicker than I'm used to working with it. Alright, I'm just try to kind of smooth it out a little bit just so it's more flat. Which I think is going to look really pretty anyway. So I'm just going to take my spoon to kind of make a little bit different design on the top help kind of smooth it out a little bit even it out as I go all right I think I'll stop there and then I just have a little bit of the Mystic Gold Glitter from Nurture Soap. I just thought the gold would look really well to set it off. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Okay, so here we have the Strawberries and Champagne Soap. I really think it's going to turn out quite nice and I'll see you back here for the cut. Hi everyone, I'm in the process of cutting the strawberry champagne soap and I do see that I have a shadow but I haven't quite figured out what is causing the shadow. So we'll just have to put up with it again this time. I just, I literally cannot figure this out. I think perhaps it's the tripod itself doing it. So I'm going to try to cut off the least amount as possible on this end so that I can get another bar but 
but we have found out that we need to cut the soap right away for that to work really well. So here we have a bar. Doesn't that look nice? The design didn't turn out quite as I'd hoped, but it's okay. It's still a nice swirly design. And I just love this fragrance. It's just one of my favorites. All time favorites. It's not one that I think of when I think of my all time favorites, but it actually is. I used to love the strawberry champagne type from Victoria's Secret. Remember I wore it a lot in Florida as a newlywed. It's just so good. So I guess I'm kind of off kilter here. I have this tray over on this side that I don't normally do. So maybe we'll just get the bars cut and I'll stack them up later. That's probably, that would probably be the best option. So then I want to get this little bit left here and I put it clear over on this edge, but it just, yeah, it's just not going to make it this time. So I'm keeping these, they actually seem really thick, it's just that the, the uh, wire won't cut through them on that edge. So I'm keeping those and I'll either uh, work a bar into them or I will make samples. I just love the swirly top. If it'll focus. I can't tell if it's focusing or not, but I hope so. So this has been a good test run for this new camera and then I can make adjustments as needed but in the meantime you got to follow along and see how this strawberry champagne soap was made I love how the colors turned out with the red and the pink and the champagne and the and the um the kind of gold yeah that's what we're going for gold i do have some air pockets and that's just something that let's see right here that batter was just so thick that the air pockets were bound to happen but it hasn't been too bad and then there's some sections where the swirler did not go all the way through it so I don't see it off the top here I had some that I was taking pictures let me see if I can find that to show you to give you an idea of what I'm talking about it'll probably be the last bar nope I'm just not seeing I know I had it where did you go? Well, I don't know then. <laughs> oh, here it was. So like right here, almost like a layered design right there because it didn't get swirled through. Oh, well. Sometimes a batch just goes a little squirrely and you just have to make the best of it. And that's a okay. That's what we'll do. Oh, that was cool. This bar turned out really nice. Isn't that cool? It's so fun. Any who's it? So here we have the strawberry champagne soap and. I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.